What's going on, everyone? So there's been a lot of talks about the upcoming Scream 7 and there being the scariest Scream, you know, the more brutality, it's going to continue to that dark undertone that you saw in Scream 5 and 6, which, again, I love. And it's one of the few things that I've talked heavily about that I really want to see Scream keep and maintain. I love Ghostface. I love Ghostface in all the Scream movies. But you know, if we're being honest, first three films, Ghostface you know, played with its food a little too much at times, a little clumsy, a little goofy, right? Where Scream 4 really kind of started the, the uptick of just the brutality and the, the type of kills and you know, kind of really going for that darker route, that more vicious ghost face uh, route, right? Scream has always been pretty dark. It's always had some gruesome kills. I mean, even the classic 96 had to, you know, cut like half the stuff out. Otherwise, they would have gotten NC-17 or X-rated and all that stuff. So they wanted to avoid that, right? But you saw with Scream 5 in particular, in my opinion, Scream 6, I did like some of the ghost face, but they just, it really just left a bad taste in my mouth and spoiled it and ruined it because no one really died, <laughs> right? Like everyone was supposed to die in that film and nobody died in that film. So it was just, it was incredibly frustrating. But Scream 5, I thought, did the best job thus far, right? All the kills were just incredibly brutal, right? I mean, you look at the West death and Judy and Vince and, I mean, it just had some great kills, Ghostface was no nonsense. Ghostface didn't play around. It was there was no playing with the food and stuff like that outside of Tara, which was purpose. It was deliberate, right? They didn't want to kill her. They wanted to just kind of mangle her and, and get Sam back and you know kind of use that as the the point. But they were still that I mean they still brutalized her, right? Like it wasn't just like, oh, we're just gonna, you know, like Derek where it's like, oh, we're just gonna cut you on the arm and you know, so people think you're in on it, right? No, like, Tara got, <laughs> got roughed up, right? And so, again, like, you had that opening scene and sequence that really set the tone, that really set the standard for, for Scream and that film going forward, and I really love that. I really want that to be maintained, right? But it does beg the question of, like, how can they make Scream, like, how can they up the ante, right? Scream 5 and 6, I'm Felt like it was pretty close to the line of like what's acceptable and what's not in modern times. Um, well, I'm sure that there's probably a little more they can maybe potentially get away with, but all in all, I, I just you know it, it's not just about the blood and the guts and the you know scares and the, like it's it's about the type of ghost. It's about the menacing. Now, I think that there are a couple ways to go about it personally. Of course, this is always a discussion, so I want to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below, so let me know how you feel, of course, as well. But I do think, one, something that I've talked about heavily is just keep it simple, right? Simplicity. And what I mean by that, particularly with, like, Ghostface and, you know, kills and stuff, is, you know, I, I, I'm not saying you don't do creative kills. Right, like something that I've talked about is like the Scream series. Ha I, I think has some of the best kills in the entire Scream franchise. I mean, some of those kills in the series are great, right? But it's just a simplistic idea, right? It's not overcomplicated. It's not this like just crazy, like Mister Ed or all this stuff, right? Like for example, it's like um, you know, like Scream Three had moments where it was just like a little over the top. Right, you know, like the rug pool, and you know, or like Roman faking his death, and it's like, how did he do that without an accomplice? And I, you know, like there's just certain things that you just kind of look at. You just go, yeah, that's a little, little silly there, right? Like that's, you know, like how are you gonna really make all that stuff work, right? But you look at Scream Five again; the kills were so simple, but so effective, right? Judy, surprise attack, boom, it caught us off guard, we didn't expect, I'm coming baby, right, and it's just this emotional scene, she's crying, she's breaking down, right, and it's just like, please don't kill him, he's such a good boy, right, like, and you just feel it as a parent, you know, as just someone that has a soul, you just feel, 
like, God, like, man, how would I feel in that situation? You know, she's racing home trying to save her son's life. Her son's already dead. She doesn't know it. She's running up to go save him, and boom, that's it. End of her, too. So not only did she fail to save her son, she ended up meeting the same fate. Just so impactful, so heavy-hitting, so dark, so scary, right? Like, again, there's simplistic ways to go about it. Vince's death. Sneak attack, boom, kind of, you know, distracting him, look over here, boom, now you're gone, right? Like, these are the kind of things, like, even, even, you know, with, like, just, just the kills, period, right? You just, you don't have to get too carried away. Keep things almost in a box, so to speak, right? Keep things simplistic. But, you know, like, keep Ghostface straight, like, straightforward movie, right? Like, I thought a good way, sticking with, like, examples in Scream 5, is you felt, when you saw Ghostface, you felt this menace. You felt that every time Ghostface had their sights on you, that that was it. Right? From, again, Dewey's death, soon as elevator door closed, or doors closed, you know, like, oh, this is it. Here it goes. Right? Like, there were moments that you really felt it. You knew, oh, this person's about to die. Right, like, you know, like, live, boom, like, just the, the shock fight. Like, the I thought that they had a nice balance of names. I, I think the writing overall was a little disappointing and lackluster. Character development was a little lackluster. But Ghostface itself, I thought they did an excellent job of really capturing. Ghostface isn't supposed to be. It, it's a slasher film. What the idea of... Somebody, the realism of Ghostface, right? Scream has always had unrealistic moments, movie logic, stuff like that. It's still a movie. But one of the things that I love about Scream and why it's my favorite horror franchise is because it is real. Every day you turn on the television and somebody's been murdered somewhere and it's usually by somebody they know. Now, usually it's a gun rather than a knife, but that's what makes Scream even more dark and scary. Right, because it's more intimate, it's more personal. Like, killing somebody with a gun, and it's you know, it's just boom, bang, it's over. Right, like you saw with Liv in in Scream Five. Right, instant, that's it, done, over. Right, you get the shock, but you know, it'd be a very quick Scream movie if Ghostface was just running through killing everybody that way. Right, but when you get the knife, it's intimate. You you're, you're closer, you're connected. It's it's violating in a way. Right, like it's just it's a very different type of kill an element, right? It's scarier, it's darker. You, you, you feel that tension when Ghostface is really kind of, you know, stalking its prey. And to me, it's like, okay, like, I am, I want that maintained. I want that darkness. I want that Ghostface to really be heavy hitting. I want that Ghostface and, and you know, I want it to be darker and edgy and stuff. But you can also kind of, ruin it and almost like scare audiences away by getting too trying to get too over the top trying to do too much like we've all seen a movie that you know they're clearly trying to scare you but it's just not coming across because it just it feels like they're doing a little too much right like that's what i mean like that's what i don't want i don't want to feel like they're doing a little too much <laughs> right i want it to feel I want it to, again, like I said, stay intimate. I want it to stay dark and gritty and brutal. And you just have this ghost face that is just absolutely menacing. Where you see him on screen, you know, like, oh, someone's about to die. All right? It's just, again, they they did a great job with that, particularly in 5. It appeared <laughs> like they did a good job with that in um, 6. Until the end, when you realize, like, oh, nobody died. Then it kind of just took away from just that. But all in all, I did, I, I do think that they, they kind of have the blueprint in a lot of ways, you know? But as always, this is a discussion. Pass a question to you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Somewhere in between. Um, 
Do you like the points that I made? Do you not like the points? How you feel? Whatever your thoughts are, love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Let me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.